The Godskin Apostle is a rather disturbing boss fight with a stretchy dude who wears a skin suit. He's creepy, he's fast, and whoever designed him obviously had a bad childhood experience with the Stretch Armstrong. I'm Jamie Latour, and we're going to show you where to find and how to defeat the Godskin Apostle in Elden Ring. There are two significant locations where you can fight the Godskin Apostle. The first and easiest spot to find him is at Damanula, the windmill village in the northern part of the Altus Plateau. That's the place where all the ladies are just dancing around like it's Elden Ring's version of Midsummer. At the top of the hill, you'll find the Godskin Apostle just hanging out. The other Godskin Apostle boss battle is much harder to reach. After you've beaten Star Scourge Radon, you'll be hanging on to his great rune. Naturally, you're going to want to activate the power of that rune, so you'll head on over to the Divine Tower of Kaelid, located here on the map. However, unlike the Divine Tower of Limgrave, which was a pretty straightforward trip across a broken bridge, Kaelid's Divine Tower requires you to climb up a series of ladders, deal with some enemies while perched upon some precarious ledges, and use the sides of the tower to get across, up, and inside. Hope you're not afraid of heights! Once you're safely within the tower, you can touch the Divine Tower of Kaelid's center site of grace. Now climb up the flight of stairs to your right, open those big old doors, take the elevator up, and go up the stairs to activate Radon's Great Rune. Which is a pretty underwhelming rune, as it just moderately increases your HP, FP, and stamina. But there's more to this tower than just accessing the power of a lackluster rune. After you've got Radon's rune up and running, head down this way past the Site of Grace and you'll find more guards within the tower. Ignore this door as you unsurprisingly can't open it from this side, and look over the edge to see some beams you can drop down onto. That's right, it's time to start descending down the tower. Drop down, walk along the wall here, and when you drop down onto this beam, it'll crumble beneath your feet! Oh no, you're dead, you're fine. Walk on over to this narrow beam here, and you see that little teeny circular platform beneath you? <laughs> yeah, you gotta somehow jump and land on that. Good luck. It's actually not that hard to do. You just need to walk off the narrow beam onto the beam below, and then walk off of that beam onto the platform. Then jump down to this beam, jump over to this beam, and then press yourself up against the wall and fall down onto the thin ledge below. Shimmy along the wall to the left, and you'll find a lift with a guard in front of it. Take him out without falling to your doom, and take the lift back up. You can climb this ladder, and that will take you to the door that you couldn't open before. Go back down, kill the random black flame monk, that's hanging around, you'll find a body that has a rune arc on it, and then walk along this ledge to the left of that body, drop down onto this beam, which will also break, but for some reason, you will survive this incredibly long fall. Why can't you be consistent, Elden Ring fall damage? You'll now be at another one of those lifts that will take you down to the Divine Tower of Kaelid basement site of grace. Jeez, this is a hell of a trip just to get to the basement. There will be another beefy black flame monk up ahead, and behind him will be the boss wall for the Godskin Apostle that apparently lives in this deep, dark dungeon of a basement. Now that we know where these weirdos live, let's talk about how to kill them. The Godskin Apostle is a tricky little boss. Whenever you're standing far away from him, he'll usually throw a ball of black flame at you. He uses a twin blade to try to stab and slash you, and he'll occasionally spin it around quickly like this, and you do not want to be caught in that attack. Once his health bar is about halfway depleted, he'll float above the ground and unleash a black flame AoE attack. After that, that's when he gets gets all stretchy. He'll start stretching out his body and doing that spinning attack or some other kinds of stretchy attacks, and he'll have more black flame attacks, like this giant whirlwind of black flame and this circle of black flame that he'll surround himself with. This guy really likes circles and fire. Both of the Godskin Apostle boss fights are basically the same, although the Windmill Village fight will let you ride Torrent. That can be good for getting away from his attacks, but being on horseback can backfire if he 
hits you a few times and knocks you off your horse, leaving you prone for more attacks. If you're a melee character, bleed is very effective, as are weapons that do physical thrust or slash damage. Jump attacks and heavy weapons can be very useful in breaking this skin-wearing freak's poise. For ranged characters, sorceries like Rock Sling or Comet Azur, along with the Cerulean Hidden Tear in your flask of wondrous physic, will make short work of this boss. Just stay away from using any faith-based incantations, as the Godskin Apostle is very resistant against them. You'll get different rewards for beating each iteration of the Godskin Apostle. The Windmill Village fight will reward you with his weapon, the Godskin Peeler, and the Scouring Black Flame incantation, while the one you fight in the tower basement will gift you with his armor set. Oh goody, now I can wear a skin suit. There will also be an area after that boss fight where you can open a chest to get the God Slayer's Great Sword. Sword. For more Elden Ring, news and guides that hopefully don't have to do with any more skin wearing freaks, you could check out thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.